actually, I think this is a very important moment in all of our histories. We stand, in my view, at a crossroads. We stand at a time that many things are changing around us. And the optimism that came in 1989 after the fall of the Berlin Wall, an open world, a world of harmony, actually isn't there anymore. Current geopolitical changes make that we think again in political blocks. Trade may be affected. The way we view technology is seriously affected. If I take you back 100 years, more than half of the world population was suffering from malnutrition. The land was still ploughed by animals and worked by hand. What the changes we have seen today our food is more diverse, there is more food at a lower price than ever before. Food is safer than it ever was. And yet, yet there is a profound feeling of unease about our food, about agriculture, about the way we use our land. Climate change, erosion of soil, uh, the lack of water, the quality of water, they all seem to be very close to us suddenly. But there is no solution for the future of agriculture and food without looking again at what science can offer. But here's the difference. In the past, we didn't really think about some of the impacts of scientific developments. We didn't really know what the unintended side effects would be. Think of all the chemicals that were used. Nobody knew really what their effects on the long term on aquatic ecosystems would have been. There was no evidence, there was no idea, there was no way to actually get a sense of that. But today we know much more. And today we should use science in a very responsible way. And there are fantastic opportunities today. Please join our next seminar in the Catalyst of Change series on December 13th.